In a previous video, we took a look at some of the filming locations of The Last Picture Show and its sequel, Texasville. Honestly, I feel like I botched that one a little. Uh, I made notes on some of the locations, but left those at home. I completely left out some locations. So, I decided to not only revisit Archer City, Texas, the home of author Larry McMurtry, but also a couple of nearby towns where some of the filming for The Last Picture Show was done. A lot of Texasville's filming was done in California, so that will have to be left to someone else. But for the 1971 original film, we start things off with the one location in Holiday, Texas. All right, this would be uh, Ruth Popper's house. When uh, Sonny comes to, to pick up the coach's wife and take her to the doctor, and of course they uh, start their affair, and whatnot, this is where he comes. I'm trying to be a, a little bit respectful because somebody does live here. <laughs> As you can see, the pickup in the uh, the garage there. But this would uh, would have been Ruth Popper's house. I wondered if they used the same house in Texasville. And just looking at some of the surroundings here, I think it's highly likely they. Uh, the house they used in Texasville. It, well, it was either in a different location or a lot of this uh, stuff has changed uh, since then. It's, it's been yeah, almost 30 years since they shot Texasville. So, but this would, but this is definitely the house they used in the Last Picture Show. Sonny goes and picks up Ruth Popper and takes her to the doctor's office. This is the doctor's office. And I don't know what that is. There's something going inside now. I don't know if that's still actually the doctor's office or if it's something else. But of all the locations other than, well, the, the courthouse in, in Archer City, of course, that was just kind of a, a background fixture for the most part. And uh, the jail, the old jail, which uh, you saw in both The Last Picture Show and, uh, and Texas Bell. Other than those two things, uh, this probably looks as close to the same as it did in the movie. Uh, of course, the movie was in black and white, so... So I can't say uh, for sure if the colors are the same way, but... It looks pretty much the same. So that was uh, Ruth Popper's doctor. Don't know if that was supposed to be in the same town or not. Of course, like I say, we're in Olney now, which is uh, about 18 miles from Archer City and probably a good uh, 38, 40 miles from, from Holiday. I know we gotta go just right down here. Actually, I was gonna say I gotta go right down there to get to the next location, but I'm gonna save that. Uh, for after we do have one more I'm going to show you All right, and here is the hospital that was used in the last picture show and it actually is a hospital Hamilton Hospital in Olney, Texas named as such because it's on Hamilton Street so got the same basic look looks like some guys coming out over there UPS man and uh, this is one of those that uh, I'm having a little trouble remembering the scene <laughs> I know they went to the hospital a couple of times now in Texasville I know they, they had a couple of scenes in the hospital I don't know if they came here again or not I almost want to try and go inside <laughs> I don't know what they think about me walking around taking video inside. So. All right, well, it's, it's the hospital from the last picture show. All right, we're just down the street from where the doctor's office is now. The other side of Gandhi's Chicken, which uh, is not open, by the way. <laughs> but uh, as uh, many of you know, the uh, the exterior the exterior scenes of the movie theater in the last picture show 
were shot in Archer City at the Royal Theater. But the interior shots were filmed at a, a movie theater here in Olney. The theater called the West Tex Theater. And it was right here. <laughs> Ironically, the, uh, the West Tex Theater was actually torn down in 1986. And now we have uh, just this little gazebo. And look like some, uh, I guess, some bricks with names of people that uh, to help build this little area. I'll go ahead and get up in this gazebo in the shade because it's getting hot. So somewhere in this area, anyway, <laughs> is where. Uh, Civil Shepherd and, and and the crew would have been sitting in the movie theater, and of course Sonny in the uh, the balcony with his girlfriend. And I want to see if they've got any kind of appreciation of Ernest Hunt, generous contribution of land for the gazebo park. I was wondering if they had any kind of marking showing that this is where part of the last picture show was uh, was shot. I'm not seeing anything. There may be something out here somewhere, but uh, not making itself particularly apparent. But anyway, this is where the uh, this is where the, the movie theater once stood. Anyway. The Rigwam Drive-In was at this location during the filming of the last picture show. Of course, obviously, this is not the, uh, the same building. That looks like a pretty new building. Not sure what it is they do in there. <laughs> tables and chairs set up, but you can tell here there's remnants of, of an old parking lot that would have fit in with uh, the rig wom. So that was a little burger joint that they, they hung out at. Just get a quick look at it uh, in the last picture show. I'll have to go back and look. It kind of kind of makes me wonder if maybe that wasn't the sign for the rigwam, or had something to do with the rigwam anyway. Can't really tell what that is. To tell you the truth. It looked like it probably had something on it at one time or another. Oh, so yeah, the Rigwam Drive-In. So that's their, their little little hangout. And it's actually out here a little ways. I have to go down that way. You can kind of see the, uh, the flashing light. Uh, like I say, it's just another one of those things that's the building is no longer here, but this is where the uh, the Rigwam was at one time. All right, this is Archer City High School, home of the Archer City Wildcats. And this was the high school that was used in uh, the last picture show, but they have remodeled it. I just talked to a lady from the administration building, and I said, yeah, this, this thing's almost completely brand new, so it's not going to really look the same. But you can kind of tell from the parking area, I can get kind of a general, the same kind of angle they had in the, uh, the movie. You should be able to tell a little bit better that it is the same place. Even though it doesn't really look the same. So this is pretty cool. 
1964 1H state champions. So I guess, I guess this is for football. Simmons. They got all the names listed there. There's 1964. That was about seven years, six, seven years before they even uh, filmed the last picture show. But a lot of these people were still probably around. I had a couple of friendly locals help me out here. Uh, as you can see, this is the Archer's, this is the library now. Uh, this is Archer City Library right there. But, uh, years ago it was actually the gym. And when they shot the last picture show, this is where, uh, those scenes were filmed. So this is the old gymnasium. And of course the, uh, I guess that's now the gym and the cafeteria. And he said the, the high school, so the lady told me it was completely remodeled and, and a fella came along and said, yeah, they rebuilt everything in 2017, so it's really new. <laughs> yeah, it's, it looks completely different now, but there's your high school and there's your gym. As you all know, uh, the Royal Theater there, that was uh, the exterior shots for uh, the theater in the last picture show. So we all know about that one, but right on the other end of the block, I just saw, got a good look at it in the first video I did, which of course wasn't even a location video, I just came to Archer City. This was booked up number four, but during the movie, that was actually the uh, cafe, the one that Eileen Brennan ran. That's where the cafe, cafe was. And I just didn't even think about that uh, the first couple of times I came. It's pretty easy to, to pick out. Because it's just right down to the other end of the block from the, the theater. Because they've got artwork on the windows now. And I don't know if they've got something else in there or if they just put that on the windows for no particular reason but. and of course right over there I had the uh, I had the question myself as to where the pool hall was and I thought uh, it was right there that's a, a, a little thrift store kind of thing called cobwebs right next to uh, Mer's uh, cafeteria there I thought that was it. Actually, it was right to the other side of that. It was to the uh, to your right. That empty lot there is where the pool hall was. Pool hall's gone now. So that's where the pool hall was. So just to straighten that up and just put it out there. Even though this doesn't really have anything to do with the movie, you do see it in the background in a couple of shots when they're at the pool hall. This is a Spur Hotel. Like I said, other than being in the background, it's not really got anything to do with the movie, but I just wanted to go ahead and give a shot at it. This is a pretty interesting place. You can get a room here. I, I think they're actually relatively expensive, all things considered. It's like 50 bucks a night, which doesn't sound that much, but it's a no-frills kind of place. Uh, no TVs in the rooms. Uh, no phone, no nothing. It's it's kind of like uh, kind of like the old west in a way. But yeah, you do you do see it in the background of a couple of shots. But uh, when they were over at the pool hall, which was of course right over there, you do see the edge of this building. Yeah, the pool hall is right over there. Well, I thought it was only appropriate since this is. So it's a 50-year-old movie. I've managed to get three videos out of it. I doubt I'll get a fourth. <laughs> Since this is going to be the last time, uh, I thought it was only right to recognize the actual town of Anarine. And all that is left is the historical marker. 
that's pretty much it. <laughs> but this is where where Anarene once was. Uh, so now it's just a memory, and uh, of course forever. Uh, forever remembered as uh, the town in the last picture show. Well, I hope you enjoyed all this. Uh, it was one last look at uh, the last picture show in Archer City. and uh, I've enjoyed doing it. I, I enjoy movie location videos. and There's not been, not been a whole lot of movies that have been shot around here, so it was kind of nice to get out and do one. Hope you liked it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Not necessarily in that order. And I'll see you next time.